So in this video, I'm going to be loading in my controls and my script in order to animate Dr. Fuse's face. Okay, so um, in order to do that, um, I've got a Fuse face controls .ma, which is a Maya file that you can import in and use with a Fuse character. So I'll do that now. So I'm going to import, but I'm going to use the option box. And normally things import with namespaces, uh, where it'll add a colon and the uh, file name. And they recommend you do that, but um, I'm not going to because uh, namespaces will rename nodes that may may be clashing. Um, if if my controllers had the same names as maybe an element within Dr. Fuse or any other model, and if they had the same names, then there would be clashes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resolve clashing nodes with the file name and not use namespaces. Okay, so I'll save and close that so it should keep this uh, designation here. So I just wanted to be aware of that. So I'm going to import uh, FuseFace controls. And they're going to come in here really small. And what I'm going to do is scale them up. Move them over so that I can uh, have them right here near the face. So, got some handy controllers right there as I'm animating. And if you wanted these controllers to follow the character around, if, if, if it's moving around, then you could just uh, take the controls and parent it inside of uh, the hierarchy of the skeleton. And that's with the middle mouse button. You just drag it in. Okay, so now to wire them up. So I have a script, bsfacecontrol.mel. Um, and mel is a scripting language that uh, Maya uses. What you want to do is copy the script, put it into your documents, Maya version number scripts folder. So it's in there. And come back to Maya. And if I come down here and open my scripting editor, I can also load it from in here. In order to uh, enable the script, what you need to do is source it. So we can source the script. So now it's sourced and it's in memory. Uh, there's other ways to source it. I could also source it by selecting everything and hitting enter on the numeric keypad. Um, or if you've got it in that directory I just told you about, each time you restart Maya, it'll be sourced automatically. And so then you can just uh, call the, uh, the command, the script. And in order to do that, it's very simple. Um, what I'm gonna do is put it on my shelf so I've got here a uh, like a modeling shelf and if I just select the, the text it's just double tapping it and middle mouse drag it up to my shelf it places it up there as a Maya script and if I right click it I can edit it and I can see it's just a command um, I'm gonna put a semicolon just on the end and if I go over here to sh the Shelves tab, I can see this uh, item that's on my box shelf. And I can rename the icon. So I'll just call it uh, Fusion or Fuse Face FFC for Fuse Face Control. Save All Shelves puts that icon on the script. And so then I can just click it to execute it. And. If I look at my script editor, I can see that uh, there's some print statements I put in it that let me know that um, it's up and running. So now I can uh, 
move these around and I've got a lot more control over my character. Uh, the mouth, I can move it up and down and right side is narrow and the inside or the or the left side rather it's wide now something to know about that this is essentially just the inverse of narrow uh, there wasn't an actually a, a mouth wide morph target and so um, I'm just putting in negative values you can you can overdrive your values on morph targets um, I've got smile frown and just left and right side smiles. Brows up and down or left and right brow if you want to do a Mr. Spock kind of thing. And uh, pucker, well if I grab both of these, uh, both the upper and lower lip, like a M or a B, and then if I just do just the lower lip, that'll give me like an F or a V. Um, and I don't have Blink wired up, but I will wire it up in the script, and I'll make another video showing you how I would wire it up. So what you need to know is that uh, the face has morph targets assigned to it. Morph targets are called facial blends. Um, every Mixmo character that you rig that is a default Mixmo character it's automatically going to add these um, morph targets and you can see there's a whole bunch of them and the ones that are purple means that they are being driven by these controllers so here I've got just a couple little controllers to drive um, a number of these um, morph targets and it's a lot easier to do facial animation with these so I wanted to show you how fun this facial animation can be. Here I'm using a more basic set of controllers and I spent just literally a couple of minutes to come up with this little uh, lip sync. What I did was imported a sound file so you can import And if, under all files, you can see that uh, audio is one of them. Uh, so it'll it'll take a wave file. I had an MP3 and I converted it to a wave. And so if I right click down here under sound on the uh, timeline, so I've got this sound called uh, Shirley. That's from the old airplane movie. In order to play it, so when I'm keyframing, I like to have auto keyframe on. That's this button. And under my animation preferences, you want to make sure that you're in NTSC 30 frames per second. And then under time slider, you want to make sure that your playback speed is real time as opposed to every other frame. So we'll click on save, and I'll play it for you. Surely you can't be serious. 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 Now this doesn't look so good, but Surely again, I only took just a couple of minutes to set this up. So what's happening here with speech, uh, the, way that, the way I would do this is go through, and I would just do passes of each control. So speech, obviously, set a key for the mouth uh, closed and then it's just starting one more key and then it's just starting to open and surely you're you're when you do that sh your mouth is going to get a little more narrow and that's what's happening here with the narrow key and then it's opening a little bit, and then it's getting a little bit wide with the Shirley. So what you want to do is look at yourself with a with a mirror, or maybe even record yourself saying these uh, sounds. That's what animators do. 
and essentially you can make a uh, mouth open, mouth wide, mouth narrow, smiling and brows, really opening and closing your mouth and making it wide and narrow and a pucker can really be able to purse your lips for M's and B's and the lower lip for F. That's really going to take care of most of your needs with lip syncing and the rest will just be emotional. So I think I probably spent more time explaining Surely you can't be serious. Surely you can't be serious. Just animating. Surely you can't be serious. 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 So it's really just a speech control as most of the, the work and a little bit with the emotion and, and brows, maybe one a, a, a blink or two there. So that's facial animation. Uh, if you needed to offset the frames or anything, if you go into Outliner and, but if you click off, it, then it's gonna show everything. And what we're looking for is just the waveform, surely. So if I click it, I can get in here and I can do, I can do offsets and things like that if you needed to grab that. So that's how you, that's how you find that. So I hope you have fun with the facial animation. Surely you can't be serious. Surely you can't be serious. If Surely you, you can't be serious. Your, Surely you can't be serious. 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 Surely you can't be serious.